Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays, and we are talking baseball. We've got a good one on our hands as the Yankees are hosting the White Sox. Dylan Cease on the mound uh, for the White Sox, and then Garrett Cole uh, on the mound for the Yankees. Yankees, big home favorites here, minus 184. Total is seven runs. Uh, we've got one of the best offenses in baseball going against uh, one of the best pitchers in baseball. Uh, so we've got Craig Trapp joining us to break this one all down. Craig, a really interesting matchup here where I know you might be looking at an underdog play here. It's a little out of hand, this number. I mean, if you look right. at the numbers, the, the pitching matchup, uh, you know, you, you just say Garrett Cole, you think, obviously he's better pitcher. Well, yes, he is. But when you look at it, last time out, he gave up five runs and in five innings. I was coming off his worst performance. I just think it's way too, the odds are way, too, I, I was thinking minus 155, minus 160, maybe at the most. It gets 185 or minus 185. We're taping this tonight before. I have a feeling this probably will be closer to 190 in the 190s. So I'm definitely looking at the underdog here. I think first five matchup, I would probably go um, same thing. I would take the White Sox. I think Cease, he, he doesn't give you as many innings. So that means you're going to have to rely on that bullpen of the White Sox that, you know, it's been decent this year, but that is definitely would be the weakness in this matchup. Uh, but to me, the Yankees lineup, Chelsea, they are a strikeout. <laughs> they lead the uh, majors in most of the strikeout categories the last few seasons for a reason. And against Cease, I think that'll be a problem here. So I'm going to take the underdog um, at this price. I just don't think you can pass it up. And this is that early game um, on right. uh, Saturday. So it's a good way to start the day if we get off this huge winner at this huge plus 165 price. Right, this White Sox lineup certainly has the some of the best hitters in baseball, uh, and just one to nine, they're a lineup that seems to have a guy be the guy uh, every single night, and it's not usually the same person. Even though Yerman yep. Mercedes obviously started off extremely hot, uh, but when you're talking about Garrett Cole, if Jacob Degrom can lose games, I know that's <laughs> the Mets we're talking about. That means the best starting pitcher on the planet is not a guaranteed lock. So I think at that price, yeah. you've got to take a good hard look at the underdog. And when you've got an underdog that has such a potent offense like the White Sox, uh, one of the best offenses in all of baseball, it's definitely worth a look. And then looking at the total of seven, uh, if Garrett Cole gives up a couple and then Cease, like yeah. if he gives up a couple, I mean – Seven super low. I know we've seen a lot of unders lately, uh, and that's why a lot of these numbers are so low. But uh, taking a look at a total, any leanings there? Like you said, seven is a ridiculous when you have a great offense in the White Sox and not necessarily built uh, for the power that the Yankees lineup is. But, I mean, you're telling me you couldn't see that this could be a you know 4-4 type game in the 8th or ninth. So I would probably lean towards the over in this one. Uh, the one thing I always worry about in early games it seems to, for me at least, as a, as a handicapper, I lean towards unders in early matchups like this one at 1 o'clock. But uh, other than that, I would definitely be on the under. If this was a night game, I would definitely be on the um, over. Sorry. Right. And sometimes on getaway days, I'm not sure if guys' yeah. minds are already on the lobster and beer on the, the charter flight. <laughs> but uh, sometimes on the getaway days, we'll see a lot of these unders hitting. Uh, but should be a good one to watch. I will be interested for sure to see how some of these bullpens stack up too because uh, it's not just the starting pitchers. I mean, Garrett Cole could throw a complete game, uh, but I would imagine the bullpens get involved at some point. Uh, so that's going to do it for our baseball talk. Great stuff from Craig Trapp as always. Craig, thanks for joining us. If you like what we're doing, don't forget to hit that like button, uh, subscribe, turn on notifications. If you hit the bell, you can be notified every time we go live or post a video.